Hi and welcome back. These pencils, Urquhart 24 set from Stadler, I've had three, four years. They were some of the first new color pencils I bought when I started coloring first and then later drawing again. Yeah, those three, four years ago. Um, they've been replaced by others after the war, so I haven't used them all that much. But I thought it was about time to, to do a review of them, kind of in the same manner as I reviewed these two kinds from Design Journey, also from Stadler. Um, I will not say so much about them and my thoughts about them before I start. I'll save that all for the end. I already, of course, know what I think of them. Um, but um, let's look at them first. I know these are readily available all over Europe and North America and at a very acceptable price and that's the drawing I'm gonna do. It's a Cuban Finch. Put that away for now. Nowadays you can get 30... it, it actually, on, if you look at the web page, it says that you can get um, how many? 42 colors of this, but the, the the six of those is in a special package that is neon colors. So if you want to buy a set, the biggest set you can get is 36. And um, yeah, they are triangular and not so thick and has a very thin core. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus. And it has that white edge around the, the lead. That is their anti breakage system. But it's a very thin core. Um, and at the time where I bought mine, this was as many as I could get. I'm missing a black stuck in the box. So this. This is the color range, and as you can see, I have sharpened some of them, and I have had breakage problems with some of them, to be quite honest. The green and the brown has broken for me in spite of that anti-breakage system. Uh, so, um, yeah, they, they're kind of, I think, aimed at their school and kids uh, line. At least that's what I get out of reading their web page. And um, so let's try. I'll do this as a speed drawing, of course.
of the drawing is done and I have to come up with a, a different kind of conclusion than I expected because they, they actually perform quite okay. I have used them on this uh, crayon drawing paper from uh, Clairefontaine and they did really well on there. My previous experience, experience with these has been in adult coloring books and in those I did not get the coverage, I didn't get the blending that I hoped for. Um, which is probably a paper issue. Because on this paper they kind of blend okay and the saturation is good enough. Um, so, uh, so yeah, they they actually did quite okay, and and I enjoyed doing this drawing. Now, this pencil, the brown, kept on breaking when I was sharpening it, and uh, it probably will until there's nothing left of it. So I'm not still not impressed with that. Uh, anti-breakage system because it, in this pencil at least it doesn't work and I have seem to have a little bit of the same going on in this one maybe not not quite as bad though but still uh, um, I think the I think the the cores are very thin so you also have to sharpen them quite a, a lot they're, they're fairly soft I mean but they're also called ergo soft so no surprise that they are soft pencils but um, other than that, they were, were quite good to, to work with. And um, for for drawing, they're fine. Adult coloring, I was not impressed. So, um, yeah. I, um, I'll have to consider these as, as some of the, the better ones I, I got, actually, for the price range. They do not compare to to professional artist grade pencils, but that's also not what they're marketed as. So you can't really expect that stuff from them. So thank you for watching, and please like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. See ya.